Here we have a proof, so I'm gonna work on the left hand side. Okay, so the first thing I would do at the top is I would just take out a common factor. That common factor would be sin x, and then you would be left with one minus cos x. At the bottom, um, I see there's this sin squared x. So we know from our um, formula that cos squared x plus sin squared x is always equal to one. So if you had to get sin squared x by itself, there's many ways you could handle this. You could even somehow use this little one over here, but it's not necessary. Um, I would um, get sin squared x by itself, and that's gonna be one minus cos squared x, and I would go and replace that part with that part over there. And some wonderful things are gonna happen. Let's have a look. Cos x minus one plus one minus cos squared x. The wonderful things I was talking about was that this minus and this plus one would cancel. And so we're now left with that over there. Now at the bottom, take out a cos as a common factor and you're left with one minus cos x. Top and bottom cancel. And so you're now left with sin over cos, which is equal to tan. And therefore, the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side.